When people disagree with you, it's tempting to think that they have a low IQ. I sometimes do this myself, although I don't announce that view publicly. I expect primary voters in both parties think that way about the other side. When it comes to climate change, extremists are dead certain that the world is going to burn up within a few decades, wiping out civilization. I'm glad to see that irritating little girl Greta drifting into irrelevant oblivion as she moves beyond climate and takes far left-wing positions on a whole range of issues, including supporting Hamas. Even the most pessimistic climate forecast from the UN stopped well short of the dire outlook forecast by extremists. Some people are equally sure rising CO2 levels will have no impact at all. It's hard to be certain about either of these extreme outcomes. Sometimes it seems to me the Just Stop Oil crowd do a good job of showing that they're not that smart. But generally, dismissing those who disagree with you as having low cognitive ability isn't a constructive way forward. The University of Bath in the UK thinks differently. They recently published a report that found that people with low cognitive ability generally voted for Brexit, meaning to leave the EU, and those with higher cognitive ability voted to remain. I first saw this on Twitter, so had to go and verify that it was true because so much of what's on Twitter is questionable nowadays. But sure enough, the report is there. In other words, the University of Bath believes that when Britain voted to leave the EU, it was the stupid people who tipped the balance. I was against Brexit, not that I got to vote because I don't live there. But I have friends on both sides of the debate and I can see both points of view. There are other possible explanations for how the vote turned out, such as maybe the less smart people were more harmed by cheap EU workers coming in from Eastern Europe. If you're a university professor, Polish plumbers or Romanian truck drivers are probably not after your job. What the research paper does prove is that intellectual arrogance is abundant at the University of Bath. I think that's true of most US universities too. It might feel good, but it's rarely a good idea to say people who disagree with you aren't smart. Just let their views make it obvious. That's what they've done at the University of Bath. This is also my rule with climate extremists, although I have to confess I have at times lapsed and call it like I see it. If you're interested in learning more about the energy sector and interest rates, then don't forget to subscribe and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Our handles are in the description box below. To find out more about what we're thinking, you can sign up for our twice weekly blog at sl-advisors.com. We always love to hear from you. So if you have any comments or blog ideas, please leave them down below. I'm Simon Lack. Thank you for watching this video.